Uh, today, I'm going to teach you guys how to go into your um, Battle Log account for Battlefield 3. If it doesn't matter if it's PC, Xbox, PS3, either way, this I'm going to teach you how to do the clan tags. Plus, I'm going to show you some more stuff about Battle Log, what it does for Battlefield 3. So, I'm going to teach you the whole entire nine yards. So, what this is, you got to do. Right now, I'm talking on my Turtle Beach headsets on my PX21s. That's the audio source I'm using. And this is on my Mac mini computer is pretty cool but I want to teach you guys how to do this no problem because I know a lot of my friends in my friends clan had this kind of problem I wish they had some kind of clan tag feature to do in the video game because which some people don't have PCs and stuff but sometimes they do in either way but I'm gonna show you how to do this right now and what you gotta do um, you gotta go to your battle log account here just click on sign in either way just go to your battle log account, type your uh, uh, your email address either way, but that's what it is. Just type your email address like right here, da 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 da, either way, and it doesn't matter what it does, and that's how you do it. Just type in your email address, your password. That's how you do it. Either way. And just sign in. Then it will give you an option how to do this right here. This is your battle log account. You can do this for PC because mostly Xbox doesn't do this either way for Xbox 360 or console versions. This is like your friends here. Like you can give them like a hua report. Like give a shout to them either way. And that's what I just did. Gave them a shout. And this is all your like your friends, and you track all your friends here, either way what they're doing, on like on Xbox Live, PC, no matter what. Then what you gotta do is click on uh, your Foxman 362 to look at your soldier stats. Either way, and just go back to your profile. Then this is the way you gotta do it right here. You can click on here or your dog tags, which I'm gonna click on the dog tags, see what it does. Not likely. Uh, I think what I gotta do is go to stats. Nope. I'm trying to show this right now. How do you change clan tags? Probably have to go to dog tags right here. Yeah, this is it. Like when you're in, in here, you go to dog tags. You gotta make sure your account is logged in. And what you gotta do is hit add dog tag on the right side of the corner. And this is how you do it. Like you can select any of your dog tags, either way, and when you get done with either way, when, when you do that, just save your dog tags, and it will use you will save them. That's for your custom dog tags. Go back to settings. Yeah, this is how you do it. Go back to your settings. Like first, just click your dog tags first when you do that. When you add your dog tags, then click up to go back to settings. Then this is where you type in your clan tag right here in this sector right here and just type it in there blah 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 either way and once you get done uh, just click on save and once you do that you saved it also you know your avatar is you have to have uh, an account like you can actually put your own custom thing like this on here like your own average you don't have to use default avatars and when you do that once you um, sign up for it just upload the image you want and but before you do that you have to activate the email for that and usually will do that and you'll give no problem when you do that either way and that's how it is also I'm gonna show you some cool stuff like this is like uh, if you have a gamer clan like in any PC Xbox 360 this is what's so cool about battle log it's like this is all your friends here who are on your friends list like you can track your like at least 100 of your friends and do all that. and plus this is your veteran status these like the battlefield games you actually played in the past and it gives you a veteran status three usually give you some other stuff this is where like you go to your clan here and what this is I love about this whole entire future this whole thing just have to click on stats then 
The cool thing about this, if you're in a gamer clan doing competitions or free ladders like game battles, frag nation, either way, or any type of tournament stuff you want to do, or just free ladders, just having fun and chilling out, uh, or do free ladders to try to build up your rank on your clan, that's what people like to do to make it look pretty good. This is like your overall status for your clan, like all your friends on your list who are in this um, clan, either way. And it usually gives you like an overall status, all the status reports of everything of like who's doing the best, who's the best pilot, who's the best helicopter, who's the, these are like the top people on the top. And that's what it is. And these usually give you like a, like a, like a score status. It's like, uh, for example, like an NFL card or a baseball card. It's like doing football, same thing. And this is how you can tell how your clan's doing very, very good on their, on their whole entire status. So that is a pretty cool feature I love about that, about Battle Log, because you can actually see it anytime you want. Plus, in here, you can actually look at your wins, losses, you can see how many kills you've done, and all that your cool stuff. You can actually see any gamer tag in, uh, or somebody who you actually play with. If you want to add that certain guy, you can go in, in from the last game you played before, and you can just add him right on there right away, and say, oh, I'm going to do this and all that. And it's pretty awesome. It is the best thing what Battlefield 3 did to make the battle log for like make it a lot easier. You can actually access this to your iPhone, iPod Touch, your iPad, either way. Plus you can also create your platoon. You can go find or create either way or join a platoon either way. You could join any clan like if you're going to join a clan out there you can actually do that. But this is all like your your status reports what you're doing. This usually sends a notification all over um, the internet like on your battle log, your Xbox Live, your PC, your PS3. It usually gives you a full report like what gun you're earning. But yeah, they need to fix something on that Xbox Live. Like if it says like seven hours ago, it's not seven hours ago. It's usually like seven minutes ago. They're a little bit way off. But that's one thing they need to fix. I know the game's got a lot of bugs, but they're gonna probably fix it real soon. But but the battle log, I'm gonna explain about it, it is very amazing. You can send anything you want out there. Tell them, give them a shout, track their status, how they're good. Like you tell your friend, like, oh, I know this certain gun you guys you earn. I know you're up like level 50 or something like that. It is pretty cool what you can say. And it's probably amazing how they know, like, man, he knows a lot of this stuff. So just, that's the cool, cool thing about Battlefield 3, what they did good, good with DICE. They didn't, they knew the point. They have a lot of people do a lot of competitions and stuff like that for clans and all that stuff. This is very excellent for clans. And for casual gamers, like, keep track of their friends and how they're doing. And you can see what their problem is. You can actually help them out what kind of situation problem they need to earn their guns or go to co-op missions. It even shows co-op right here. I have to show you right here. Your co-op. It's like this is how you're doing your co-op missions from, like, how you do good and your stats and your report and your scores, your kills and everything. And it'll tell you the next weapon online. It's like in all the... Even uh, the multiplayer modes, it'll tell you the next item you're unlock, medal, rewards, everything. But I'll show you something right here. Like uh, you can actually see what is the top guns you're doing right here. Your level. This is like uh, which class you're using the most in the color indicators right here. You seen like assault, um, recon. Uh, that's support. Assaults right up here with it looks like a medical sign. That's what it is. Your win and losing ratio means your winning and loses. And this is how many hours you played. And your accuracy means how how you're doing good. Also like skill level right here. This is like your 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 skill level what you're doing in the game right now from the last maps you have done. The more of the higher the skill level the better it looks good on you. And the better it gets good. Also, it tells you everything. These are like the current latest rewards you earn from ribbons. Also, another tip about this, I'll show you weapons and equipment. This is like the next weapon you're going to earn for your gun. Like a star means I'll give you like 10,000 points and it will level up your level pretty fast. It's pretty awesome. And these are the guns you already earned right now for your attachments and all your guns, debilators. These are like the next guns you're going to be earning in the next, in a, when you level up either way. When it gets up to that certain point, it'll get to it. Also, these like where you earn all your like your guns, perks. Either way, I don't think they're perks, but 
something like that. Yeah, you can earn perks, camouflages, either way, like sprint or flak type jackets you can earn. I think that's what it is. Also, it'll even tell you, these are all like all your weapons here, what you've been doing good with your kills on each of these weapons here. This is what's showing here on the left side you're looking at right now. And it'll tell you what your kill ratio and plus your percentage of your accuracy. This is pretty amazing. And you can see what the problem you're dealing with. These and I'm talking about like that. That's how you're gonna solve your problems. Like I got 44 per, 44 percent of uh, accuracy for rocket launchers. I'm doing pretty good with rocket launchers. And this will tell you which weapon you're doing good with. And that's why they put on the top weapons you're doing the most kills. And it's a pretty amazing stuff. It even does this on vehicles, jets, the whole nine yards. Even this is your equipment. You use your gadgets right here. That's your uh, UAV type of style. Uh, your mortal, your claymore. I haven't got these yet, but the tugs is like a motion sensor. That's what it is, like you do in Bat Company too. But you put this in one area to detect everything on radar. The grenade, that's like your upgrade grenade when you get up from the next one from the M40. But you get the M67, it's a more powerful grenade. And you get your mines. Your devil layers is like your uh, your tree things. And you pick up people that way. You can throw a medical pack if you want. The robot is pretty cool. What it does, you can arm uh, MCOM stations, disable them when you're on defense or attacking either way. You have to be very close to the MCOM station uh, to shoot your little fire gun at them right near the MCOM station. You can kill people with them too. Sometimes they don't see your, um, your robot either way. It's pretty amazing. They actually use that in the real battlefields, I know. The special specializations, these are your perks right here you get. Uh, these are pretty amazing perks they have. Like uh, The one is sprint and it makes you run faster. It's like when you do in Call of Duty, like you know your perks. Ammo gives you extra ammo. Flak is mostly like your armor, I think it is. Something like that. And I know I don't know about much about this game, but I'm getting I know some of it very well. I've been playing for almost four weeks right now, three weeks. This game is still new to us see the way, but it's pretty cool. But the Call of Duty players, they probably have some kind of same stuff like this. I don't know, but maybe they have it on Call of Duty Elite. I don't know. Maybe that's the way they do it theirs. But I like both first person shooter games. They're amazing. This game is pretty good. If you're a Battlefield fan, I um, prefer this game. It is definitely well worth to get this game. Also, this is your vehicles. This is how you're doing good with your vehicles. These are like your perks, which you get them too on the right side. This is like you get your missiles, your stealths. These are like the ones you earn the next thing. Same thing you do with the weapon perks attachments. These are like your perk attachments for your vehicles. For each one of them. That's where you go down on the right side you see. Here's what you do using your vehicles, the ones you've been riding around, shooting, and these are the kills you got so far on these vehicles you've been doing in all the multiplayer modes. And that's what you do. It's pretty cool. And and plus it tells you everything on this. It's it's like your whole entire stats like you've been doing, like how good you're doing, how you know, but this is how you can solve your problems, you can see what you're doing. Also, I'm gonna talk to you about the rewards. This is the rewards you guys need to learn about a lot. When I know from a friend told me about this, um, you see these ribbons? The most of these ribbons you get, you get more of these medals. You can earn the same medals over and over again to get more of these 10,000 points on these medals. And it'll make you level up pretty fast on your level, but it takes a while to level up. But it'll tell you like uh, if you're in the game or either way you click on it or just when you're in uh, on Xbox Live, PC, whatever you're doing or PS3. Just go to ribbons on the game, and you'll see the ribbons you have, and look at medals. And look at the medals, all the medals, and find out the next medal you're earning, and that's how you'll know. The more ribbons you earn in the game, the better you get medals in the thing. I just want to let you know, give you a tip about that. Because these are all, like, all my medals that I earned so far. And the more medals you get, the medal you get on one of these. And you can earn the same medal over and over again until it reaches up to that certain point when it's done. And that's what it is. It's like Prestige, but much different than Call of Duty. But this is amazing. And this actually makes you level up your, your character of your of your of your soldier profile. And it makes it look good on your on your clan to make it look more record breaking or the kind of skill what you are. It's pretty amazing stuff. It's like your your detailed profile of your type of uh, gaming system, uh, type of 
player what you are in the game. Also, dog tags is like you get all these. You'll earn these each time when you level up. Um, some of these dog tags I got like from like um, from a website. Like you can get these little things from um, by uh, look up uh, Act of Valdar. You'll see right up there. And when you find that, sometimes you get these dog ta you get these dog tags for free when you sign up for it. But only way you sign up for it is you have to watch the video for the 30 second video when you have to watch it and after when you log in there when you do that and your age and all that crap then you get these um, dog tags right here also you get these with the game the Mass Effect 2 because when you had the pre-order when you had the pre-ordered edition of the game uh, when you had the limited edition you'll get these tags here right here but these are also you'll earn more tags each time when you uh, win something in conquest either way or other modes you do you get more of these dog tags when you level up on levels when you go on the next level you'll get them you have to unlock unlock these dog tags there's also probably rare ones that you have to unlock and if you like the dog tag you like you select it it'll show it up here right on this side here and also these tags down here like when you click on something like these like look like um, design type things like this it'll show up on the right side too like the flame skull I like it's pretty cool also this one here upcoming unlocks this is the next weapon I'm going to be getting or the next perk I'm going to be getting and it'll show you like the percentage up here you'll see the next thing you'll be getting the, the closest one you're going to be getting right now and that's how it works and also I like the way this thing actually can tell also you can see this in the video game also like on the PC Xbox 360 and PS3. It'll actually show you the next thing when you're earning. But on Battle Log, you can actually see it a little bit much better. I like the way this is more organized and true understanding for a lot of people can be pretty cool with it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please rate it pretty good for me. And I want people to learn about how to put their dog tags in here and the clan tags because there's a lot of people don't know how to do this stuff. So I just want to teach them about a video how to do the the dog tags. And the clan tags, how to how they put them in there, and that's what they need to learn how to do that. And once they put their clan tags, it'd be amazing. A lot of people be able to see that when you commit suicide on the game, you'll be able to see your own dog tags. Or when you kill someone, they'll be able to see your dog tags of your clan tag. It's a pretty amazing thing you can do. So that's how you'll know when it works, and when you get on the game, that's how you will know when you do that. But also, the only way you might have to do that, if you're on the game and doing your battle log at the same time, when you put the tags in, when you save it, uh, what you got to do in the game, just um, log out of the game and come back in the game and your tags should be there. No problems. So I hope this video is very helpful. hope you guys learn about battle log a little bit much from Battlefield 3. And you guys have a wonderful day and enjoy playing the game. And you guys have a good... Good evening out there and a good day and a good morning to you all. Thank you.